for the simply supported beam shown, subjected to a triangular distributed load and an external couple at C, draw the shear and moment diagrams. This is the third example for the shear and moment diagrams main video. The link to that video and other examples are in the description below. Just like we always do, we begin with a free body diagram to locate the reaction loads and identify any distributed loads that need to be replaced by point loads. A triangular load that goes from 0 to 30 pounds per foot has an average of 15 pounds per foot over a length of 9 feet. You can learn more about centroids in the centroids main video linked below. But for a triangular distributed load, we know that the equivalent point load will be located one third from the base. A sum of moments about A would allow us to solve for the reaction at B and the sum of forces in Y would allow us to solve for the reaction at A. The shear diagram with an x-axis in feet and the y-axis in pounds would go up by 25 at A, begin with a slope of 0 and end with a slope of minus 30 at B and go up by 110 at B. Since there are no external shear forces between B and C and the shear must be 0 at C, we know that the value at B must be minus 110. For the bending moment diagram with an x-axis in feet and a y-axis in pound feet, the starting value will be 0 because there are no external couples at A and the slope will begin at 25, become 0 and quickly become minus 110 from A to B. At B, the slope becomes 0 and maintains that value till C. Connecting the slopes, we find the overall geometry of the bending moment diagram. Since at C we find a negative clockwise external couple of 180 pound feet, we know that in our bending moment diagram where we plot the reactions, we'll see a positive counterclockwise 180 couple going up, which means that the minimum value for the moment is minus 180. To find the maximum value, which is where the slope is zero, we first need to find the x location. If the sum of forces in Y is equal to zero at that point, we would have a positive AY and a negative distributed load that has a slope of 30 over 9, which means that the Y value at X is 30 over 9 times X and the area under the curve of that triangle, which is the equivalent point load, would be one half of the base times the height. Substituting AY, we can solve for the distance X. The moment at that location can be found by using a sum of moments about that point. We can find the force by substituting x, which we already know should be 25 to counteract ay, and its location would be at the centroid of the triangle one third of the way from its base. The sum of moments would reveal that mx is equal to 64.5 pound feet. For more examples on shear and bending moment diagrams, as well as the other videos of the statics course, Make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.